guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here um my name is sky also known as skylar skylar and elise skylar kimball there's a lot of names for me but anyways today we will be talking about my skin yay my lovely skin it sucks but anyways so if you have not already go watch my last skincare video it's way more educational and it gives you a little bit more of like an insight and stuff like that uh, if you are new here make sure you go down and subscribe oh my god i look like a bean head i literally just woke up film and I need to tell them about my skin. Mama! <sighs> Guys, look at her. This is how she's sitting right now. Mama. Okay, I'm just gonna leave her. Are you comfortable? I can't even sit up because you're literally sitting on top of me. Are you done? Are you comfortable? I'm gonna give you guys a quick little skincare update um, with my cystic acne so it did end up coming back again it keeps like going away coming back going away coming back so this last time I decided to actually start a medication because at first mama stop I'm not a chew toy I decided to actually start um, a medication because it, nothing was working like my face it would clear up and then it would get bad it would clear up and then it would get bad and it just kept bouncing back and forth back and forth and then I was like I need to get rid of this like I'm so insecure about my skin and I'm so like all I want to do is film and vlog for you guys but it's it's hard for me because I'm so insecure with my skin and I don't want to pick up the camera until I have makeup on so that's why today I don't have any makeup on um, I'm not gonna put any makeup on so get over it but anyways so if you have not checked out my other video i will link it um down below or in the little eye thing so <sighs> mama um i will link it i would go check out that one first so you can understand like the background of it and stuff like that i'm not going to get that in depth in this video the other video is actually very educational about cystic acne and um I, I just talk about the products that i was using and stuff like that so the things that i changed is number one which is like the biggest one is or not really the biggest one but i guess the biggest one is that i'm taking medication so the very first medicine that i started off with was called doxycycline um i was taking that one it was working but it wasn't working that well it used to be a really popular medication for acne but it makes your skin really really sensitive to the sun so they stopped prescribing it as much but i was taking that one i was loading on sunscreen and it just it would like work and then it would stop and it, i don't know it was just not the best for my skin so then i got on a different medication and i'm so sorry i'm gonna try to figure out the name of it if i do figure it out i'm going to put it in the description box but i believe it started with an e i want to say it was like in a in a package like a medicine package and it was like a little green bubble thing um but i was taking that one and that one helped my skin tremendously that one is so with my cystic acne i would like swell up like my um blemishes would get like swollen to the point that like i can i can barely wash my face because they hurt so bad so that was pretty tragic but anyways i was taking that medicine and it got a lot better it pretty much cured my cystic acne every now and then now i will um like sometimes i'll wake up and i'll have blemishes or if i wear makeup it'll like 
mess with my skin really bad which obviously makeup is going to it's makeup you know but right now I'm currently doing a topical medicine which is just something that you put on top of your skin the current medicine I'm taking right now is this this is called clindamycin clin clindamycin is the total like I've taken a total of three medications I'm no longer on the other two I'm only taking this one which is just the topical so while I'm taking this I was told to use something that has benzoyl peroxide in it benzoyl peroxide it like helps it's like a like an antibacterial type thing um but anyways I did a lot of research and my mom actually put me on this um face wash and it's called panoxyl I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. It is very, very, very popular. I didn't really know about it because everyone told me don't use too high of a percentage of benzoyl peroxide, but I don't know. My mom told me about it and then, um, so my boyfriend's mom is actually the one that prescribes me these medicines and she told me that I need to be using benzoyl peroxide face wash or a product that has benzoyl peroxide before I use that medication like before because with that medication I have to make like this little mixture and then I put it on my face so she said that I have to use something with benzoyl peroxide and then go in with that because the whole idea is that you open up all your pores you clean them out and then you put in the medication which is going to help fight the acne from the outside in rather than what I was doing with the other medicine which was fighting from the inside out so I'm pretty much like punching it from both sides giving it that three piece and it better go away because it's honestly kind of pissing me off but now just so I can show you guys really fast I'm going to show you guys my actual skin which I'm so, oh my gosh I'm so nervous to show you guys my skin because it's like that's like my number one insecurity but I want to be 100% real with you guys and I want to let you guys know like exactly where I'm coming from that way if you're going through the same thing you can kind of learn from it maybe the stuff that I'm doing can help you I don't know okay but anyways this is my skin now this is considered my good side um if you can tell if you guys went and watched my last video you'll know that my scarring got way way worse um yeah it got a lot worse and I it sucks like it really really sucks um because whenever my acne came back like I made that video and my acne was like going away like it was so good and then like a little bit went by I was still doing what I was doing and then it just like BAM just like came back and it oh my god it hit like 10 times harder and it's so hard to get rid of that's why I decided to finally go with medication um i was trying to fight it without any medicine but that didn't work out so here we are but anyways this majority of this over here is scarring like up here that is a blemish um that was a blemish like a few days ago and then i i break out a lot on my jawline um i do believe that a lot of my acne is coming from my birth control so this is the like good side this is the bad side this is the side that keeps breaking out and i want to say that it's because i keep like whenever i go to sleep i can't help it because like i'm asleep but i sleep like on my hands or like this or i lay on anthony and he's like a freaking heater so as soon as i touch him skin on skin it's like sweat it's terrible but anyways so um yeah this side is always a lot worse but it is still getting better yeah but as far as like my overall skincare routine i still do everything that i did in my last video the only thing that's different is a i stopped using curology which is kind of a shocker because it was helping me so much but then it just wasn't doing anything i felt like it was actually making my skin a little bit worse I don't know if it's because I was using it for so long like my skin got used to it I don't know if like my acne was just so strong that it was like not taking that medication like I don't understand I don't know what was going on but I it wasn't worth paying for it if it's not working so I stopped using that I'm not saying Curology is bad I actually really liked Curology I'm it kind of sucks that it didn't work for me I actually have a friend 
that he uses it I actually put him onto it and his skin cleared up like he had last time I seen him okay so he used to have skin like not as bad as mine but it was like broke out like you can clearly tell and the last time I saw him was like a few days ago and he had one blemish and all of his scarring like everything was like gone like it was so his skin was so smooth um oh I'm so excited because I just ordered the new origins moisturizer it's like the charcoal salicylic acid like that thing i saw it on daisy marquez's um new video with her sister and i i, I okay i'm not the type to order something that a youtuber suggests unless they're like die hard for it and it's like something that like i really need but just the way that she described it was like i need that because it's supposed to help fight acne with the salicylic acid while moisturizing so she said that she uses it um like whenever she goes to work out because i mean she's sweating and stuff like you're if you work out you're probably gonna break out like you're also pushing out all the toxins of your body whenever you're working out and sweating so it just like you're bound to break out so she said that she uses that yeah whenever my package gets here i'm gonna show you guys the new moisturizer just so you guys can see what i'm talking about i think they also sent me like a sample of a different moisturizer or something i don't know but i'm gonna show you guys but anyways yes i hope you guys enjoyed this update if you have not already um checked out my other video go check it out because it is way more educational than this one this one is just kind of an update so okay <clears throat> so my package finally came in i've literally been waiting all day i filmed the first part of this video early 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 this morning and it was supposed to arrive anytime today it didn't tell me a time and it is now 6 45 and it just arrived at my house but this is the moisturizer that i was talking about this is the one that daisy marquez um recommended and i ended up ordering it it's the clear improvement pore clearing moisturizer with bamboo charcoal this is what it looks like it's actually a pretty good size this one was 34 dollars um i personally don't have a discount code but i know on your first order if you sign up for their emails you get like 20 percent off and then daisy also has one and i believe it's 20 percent off as well it smells like I don't know what it smells like it like kind of smells like sunscreen but then it kind of smells like i mean charcoal it, it kind of smells like charcoal but then it kind of smells like sunscreen so i don't know and she said a little bit goes a long way so i'm just gonna take like what's left on this little lid and i'm just gonna use that to moisturize but i'm so excited to use this one. Ooh, it feels nice it smells kind of weird but like i think their stuff is super like natural or like whatever whatnot so so i got this this is what i purchased and then they also sent me this one this is the ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer i've heard stuff about their eye cream i believe it's like the same um like the ginseng thing but this one's like an energy booster and it's gel so it's good for oily skin so i'm pretty excited about this one too i'll probably end up using this one once my skin is like more clear and like at its in its good days but yeah and then i also got this this is just like a little sample it's a dark spot correcting night mask so that's pretty cool but anyways that finally 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 concludes this video um, I hope I helped you guys out. Don't forget, make sure you check out my last video. It has way more information in it. But this was just an update, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I talked too much, but make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.